Welcome to BlackstoneBass.com. As you can see, I'm back in my man Clarence's garage and um, we're working on the boat engine here. If you've been following the 1996 Albemarle build, um, this is a 5.7 liter 350 small block Chevy. I'm so excited. I got my exhaust manifolds and risers in. So tonight we'll be showing you how to install uh, exhaust manifolds on a small block Chevy. First thing we got to do is get the paint off of the uh, engine block here or head or whatever it's called. What's it called, Clarence? The engine head, that's what I thought. So put some shop rags in the holes. Um, you're not to gouge this, no wire wheels. Uh, Volvo says use maybe a sanding block, 80 grit, or you know, a, a, a little maybe scraper. Um, what we're gonna do is use some brake cleaner. We see that the paint's coming right off. So that's what we're gonna do and uh, get it clean. Some uh, Max brake part cleaner, squirt on a rag here and then see if it'll take this paint off. It seemed to be doing a good job. All right, we got it pretty clean here with the um, the uh, brake fluid cleaner. I mean, the brake cleaner got all the paint off. Make sure there's no gasket left. I don't know if you can see that or not from this distance, but there's a little bit of gasket on the bottom here. So I'm just getting it with this putty knife, going real smooth, making sure this baby's perfect clean so we get a good seal. All right, now we got it pretty clean. I got my man Clarence is running the tap into where the uh, bolts go to hold the... Um, Exhaust manifolds, you want to get those clean because they're full of paint, no doubt. We got it all cleaned. Um, you can see that we <clears throat> tapped out all the holes. Everything is very clean. The next little step is to take the actual bolts that hold on the exhaust manifold. And you want to run them up in the holes and make sure they fit. The manual says you're supposed to be able to hand tighten them all the way in. So we want to check that before we uh, put the manifold on, which is very heavy and make sure there's no issues because if you have a leak you have water ingestion and you can blow the engine the bolts actually screw in but not all the way in they go all the way to the bottom out you can tell and you can uh, see by the length that i have here they're they're going all the way in so that's what you need to do hand tight and check each one all right what we've done is we've taken the old bolts out of the um old exhaust manifolds you need to cut the head off if you got a, a nut head on top. These had uh, lock nuts on them. We took them off and you can see we took a hacksaw and we made a little notch in it for a screwdriver. What you need to do is you put one in the first hole and just tighten it up with your fingers all the way down as far as it will go. And then you put one in the last hole. Then what you do for that is you take and you want to run your, help me out Clarence, run my, uh, gasket. my gasket up on there. using those pins to hold your gasket and then your exhaust manifold will slide right up against there and these pins will hold the weight because you'll never hold it and try to line those holes up without messing up the gasket. So go ahead and take the plugs out and put the new plugs in. Uh, these were just some old plugs we had laying around to keep paint from uh, going in the holes. All right, gonna try to take the paint off here, the exhaust manifold, make sure it's got a good flat surface also, just like on the engine. See the little scraper here is helping get the paint off. The brake cleaner definitely loosened this up some. See that the uh, paint on this uh, bar manifold is uh, much nicer than the paint uh, that comes from other places. So also it said in the, in the uh, Volvo book you could take some 80 grit sandpaper on a block and put it level and uh, knock any paint off. So I got some 100 here. It's as close as I've got, but it'd probably be good enough. So you want to make sure you uh, get it down level have your block on there and just kind of go back and forth to keep it flat and smooth and see what this will do. Oh yeah, she's cleaning right up now. All right, you see we finally got these babies cleaned all the paint off. Like they said, you will be surprised that um, maybe how on that level they are until you can get all the paint, get everything uh, level. The last thing I got to do with this is take these rags out and vacuum out these particles and then I got to do the top where the riser sits. So here we go with some more sanding and scraping. This baby's a little unlevel as you can see. We finally got them. Shine like a new penny. Or should I say nickel because it's not copper. <laughs> All right, monumental time here. We got the 
Exhaust manifold all cleaned up, leveled up, ready to roll. As you can see, we got the um, old bolts in there to be guides. We've got the, um, the gasket on, so we're ready to go. We went ahead and replaced the plug so it'll be easier to get to. So we're ready, Clarence? Ready. Here we go. Here goes nothing. So you'll never hold it without this, without having some kind of guide and using these, um, these, these old bolts. There you go. All right. All right, now that we got all the bolts in, except for the ones on the end, we need to take a screwdriver and uh, take these out. So then we'll have all our correct bolts in and we can then torque it to the right uh, poundage, which again, Volvo says 26. <laughs> all right, here we're torquing them all. There's the last bolt up to 26. Do we need to check them again? When torquing your bolts, always make three passes. Starting on your inside bolts, working your way out. Thanks for watching BlackstoneBass.com, where the bite is on.